On April 11, 2021, Officers of Fort Myer Police Department responded to a report of a woman who passed out behind the wheel while her vehicle was parked in the middle of the road. Upon arrival, one of the officers, Officer Smith, saw a white woman named Kimberly in the passenger seat of a black Lexus, which was still switched on. Kimberly was told to turn off the vehicle and step out for evaluation. She started acting overly friendly with the officers and even flirted with them. She told them she is one of them because she is a paramedic. Before we continue, let me thank Active Police Cam for sharing this video on their YouTube channel. Hi. So a lady came in and told me she was passed out in her car. Okay. She was unresponsive. So I came out and they were knocking on the window. Gotcha. There was nothing until they opened it. Then she woke up. And Not true. Hi. I just don't know. Hey. My name is Cam. I deliver for Instacart. Okay. How you doing? Okay. You might turn the car off. Yeah, it's hard to hear you. You can, you can step out. Do you need EMS at all? Huh? Do you need EMS to check you out? Do you feel okay? No, I'm a paramedic firefighter, actually. Okay. <laughs> what so are you, you guys? Need, you don't need EMS? No, sir. Okay. Well, what's going on? How come we're stopped here in the middle of... Um... I just backed out of this parking spot. Then I was talking to this gentleman. I, I didn't hear you. Say it again. I just backed out of this parking spot talking to this gentleman. I was talking. Who is the other gentleman I was talking to? He mean, left. Hey, wait, what? He left. It, it, I was talking to another gentleman. He left. And then he was there. Okay. I, I mean, it wouldn't matter if he's here or not. Uh, so, what did you come here for? To get a pregnancy test? To get a pregnancy test? Cigarettes. Oh, a, a, oh, a pack of cigarettes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I was confused for a minute. Okay, my name's Kim. It's sure is. Smith. Smith? Yeah. With That's my last name. Really? Kim really spoke that. I never took his last name. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, whatever. You, you, have, you have your driver license? Yes. Well, you don't, you don't have to get back in the car. Is, is it in the car? Yeah, you can, you can grab, grab your purse. Don't treat me like this. I'm a paramedic firefighter. I'm one of you guys. I'm on your fucking team, okay? Okay. I didn't say you weren't. I saw you dump a drink out before we pulled up. What was that? I don't drink. I First saw, of all. I saw a cup that you poured out and I saw liquid come out of it. What was it? You saw liquor come out of my drink? No, it is liquid. Oh, like okay. the stuff that. Okay. Uh, I was just getting, I was just getting, I was getting a cart. Sorry. Okay. No worries. Bye. You said your last name was Smith. No? I'm Kimberly Smith. I was married to Jim Smith for, uh, I probably didn't change my last name. Okay. Are you feeling okay? I feel great. Are you positive? Absolutely. Where are you coming from? Alba. Who? East Fort Myers, Alba. Okay. I was delivering groceries. Okay. I'm serious, I'm great. All right, relax. I'm just trying to make sure you're okay. Do I look okay? I can't go to the Buddha today. What? <laughs> I can't go to the Buddha today. The what? Buddha. What's what's? I the don't Buddha. know what. Buddha. You don't know the Buddha. Okay. I don't even know what. I don't even want to know what that I'm is. Not going to the Buddha. Huh? The Buddha Club. I'm kidding. Say it again. I don't say anything again. Okay. Why are you guys screwing with me? All right. Uh, here, come start with my car for a second, all right? I just want to make sure you, my car's right here. This I'm one. serious. If you drive down right now, I would say you're like, I'm a paramedic you, firefighter. You are? Yes, okay. I am. I, I appreciate it, okay? And I work for Instacart. I've been on the front line for a season. All right, all right. Just, just stay right there, okay? All right. Are you gonna keep, I'm not standing in the lane. I'm going to get back in my car sitting in his no, car. We, uh, we can't let you get back in your car uh, just yet. I'm taking my keys. I do not want my hair wet. I curled my hair like earlier. You guys stop. Can I get my umbrella? Hold my purse. I'll get your umbrella for you. Where is it? In this door. Uh, uh, really? I curl my hair for a purpose. Thank you. I appreciate that. Of course. So, it. so guys, you no fucking your hair wet. She was very nice. I'm one of you guys. 
What's up? I'm on you guys. Hey, sexy. How are you doing? I'm not wet no more. He at least let me get my umbrella. He was iffy about letting me get it. Where are you coming from tonight? East Fort Myers. East Fort Myers. We were watching, well, actually, I was doing Instacart. Kimberly claims she doesn't drink, but her behavior was indicative of someone who was drunk. Officer Smith also reported that he smelled the odor of an alcoholic beverage emitting from Kimberly's facial area as she spoke. The state of Florida strongly frowns on driving or operating a vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. Under Section 316.193 of the Florida Statute, a person is guilty of the offense of driving under the influence and is subject to punishment if the person is driving or in actual physical control of a vehicle within this state and the person is under the influence of alcoholic beverages when affected to the extent that the person's normal faculties are impaired. Also, you are not permitted to operate a vehicle if your blood alcohol or breath alcohol level is 0.08 or more. Punishments for violation of this statute depend on the severity of the crime and the number of previous convictions. The officers asked if Kimberly was willing to do some field sobriety tests, and she consented. Unsurprisingly, she couldn't coordinate herself properly and failed the tests woefully. She was arrested for DUI. What I'm going to have you do is walk down the line, and all you have to do is just walk down the line, okay? I'm going to tell you how to do it, and from that point, what we'll do is, I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I want you to demonstrate for me, okay? It's so good that you're so cute, because I wouldn't be... Fucking with anybody if you weren't accused. Thank you. Of. I appreciate I'd it. I'd be like honest. I'm serious. Yes. I'm like. Okay. So, are you comfortable with doing this exercise in your in your shoes? Are you do you want to do it barefoot? How, you want to do it barefoot? Or are you you cool with doing it in your shoes? <laughs> I wear shoes all the time. So, so you want to do it in your shoes? Yes. That's yes uh, or no. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. That's fine. I just want to make sure you're comfortable doing it. Put Jesus. your put your left foot on the line just like this. All right, I want, put you, I want you to put the heel of your right foot in front of your left toe, just like this. All right, I want you to put your hands by your side, like this. I want you to maintain this position until I tell you to start the test, okay? Do you understand the instructions? Pretty much. Okay. Uh-oh. Keep, keep your hands by your side. Like keep, this? Yeah. Keep, just the toe, heel to toe, right? Just like this. Keep your, keep your, your, heel, your right heel against your toe, just like this. Okay. Side, hands side. Okay. So I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna go like this. One, two, three, so on, so on, until you get to your ninth step. Imagine this being your ninth step. You're gonna take a, you're gonna turn just like this. Take a series of small steps to turn around, and you'll take nine steps back down the line. One, two, three, until you get to nine. Okay. Once you start, do not stop. If you step off the line. Get back online and finish where you, uh, you you left off at. Do you understand the instructions? Very much. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Your car is parked where? Really? Yep, you're gonna arrest the DUI. Are you serious? Hey, you come, come to my car, right? Field sobriety tests are a series of standardized physical and cognitive performance tests given to a driver under reasonable suspicion of driving under the influence. These tests are done to provide law enforcement officers with probable cause to arrest a driver. After being arrested for DUI, Kimberly refused to submit to a lawful breath test. She even bragged that her best friend will overturn the conviction. All right, so you have the right to remain silent. Anything right. you say can be used against you in court. With these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to us now? I just want you to park my car so I can get my car okay. in the morning. Or I can get somebody to come get my car and leave my car. Do you wish it. to speak to us now? I just don't want to leave my car parked in a okay. gas pump well, and pay an extra $100 dollars. I can get somebody to get my car. We will, we will take care car. of it. I have no money. My kids are gone. You can screw me. I'm not drunk. But my best friend okay. is Pete Ringsmith. And Pete Ringsmith does not agree with you guys.
right? Okay, do you want to talk to me or not? Yes or no? I'm talking. I've been talking to you but for like 30 I minutes. You, before I ask you any questions, I need a yes or no. Just pull the hair out of my mouth. Okay, do you want to talk to me, yes or no? No. No? Okay. All right. Well, we're going down to Lee County Jail, okay? Kimberly was later released on a $1,000 bond. In August 2021, she was given a 12-month suspended license probation, ordered to complete DUI school, and paid about a $1,000 fine. Well, that's all concerning this video. Before you go, check out this video where we showed these car thieves who couldn't outrun troopers with their stolen Dodge Challenger. Thanks for watching.